In the summer of 1851, the United States government requested all the Indian tribes to meet at Fort Laramie for a council. Those invited were friends of the Lakota, such as the Cheyenne, as well as hated enemies like the Crow. The Blue Coats promised us gifts of blankets, sacks of flour, clothing, and the like. More than 10,000 Indians from various tribes answered the call. It was the largest gathering I had ever seen on the prairies. There were thousands of teepees and horse herds that were beyond counting. The U.S. government wanted our leaders to sign treaty papers that would allow safe passage of their wagon trains through our country. But how were we supposed to respond? The Lakota did not have one leader or a set of chiefs who spoke for all the people. So the Blue Coats chose Chief Conquering Bear, Matawayuhi, to represent the Lakota bands because he agreed to their terms. He signed the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1851, and others did as well. They wanted the offered gifts. I did not sign. As soon as the U.S. government representatives left, many Indians returned to their old behavior of intertribal warfare and the raiding of wagon trains. The Blue Coats said we broke our treaty with them, but we had not. One chief or warrior could not sign for all the different bands of Lakota. The U.S. government could not comprehend this. It was a free way of living and of governing that was alien to them.